Assalamu alaikum. The vocal folds macula flava are normal anatomical structures of the vocal folds that forms an important part of the normal fibrous framework of the vocal folds and should not be confused with intracordial lesions like masses or cysts. The macula flava are normal bilateral submucosal vocal fold structures that can be seen in the anterior and the posterior parts of the vocal folds. They are fairly well demarcated, elliptical in shape and opaque. They are thickened parts of the intermediate layer of the lamina per propria and composed of elastic fibers some collagenous fibers, some fibroblasts, and ground substance. They are just thickened ends of the intermediate layer of the lamina propria, anteriorly close to the insertion into the thyroid cartilage, and posteriorly close to the attachment to the vocal process of the arytenoids. They may not be evident in every case, but should not be confused with intracordal masses or cysts. The vocal fold structure is formed of five layers of different mechanical and histological structures. The framework of the vocal fold is formed of the lamina propria, the fibrous part of the vocal fold, which is formed of the middle three layers of the five layers, a superficial, very thin and pliable superficial part of the lamina propria, followed by an intermediate layer formed of elastic fibers and a deep layer formed of collagenous fibers. This uh, lamina propria is covered by the epithelium. This is the most superficial layer of the vocal fold and is moved by the muscular layer, the deepest part formed by the vocalis muscle of the thyroarytenoid muscle. This multi-layer composition is maintained throughout the length of the vocal fold, but the proportions of the different layers differs according to the position in the cord and also differs according to the age of the subject. In the middle part, of the vocal fold, this is the classic five layers composition. But as we go very anteriorly and very posteriorly, the structure starts to gradually change. In the most anterior part of the vocal fold, close to the anterior uh, commissure, the anterior commissure tendon, the Broyles ligament, is formed almost exclusively out of the deep fibrous layer, thick collagen layer. Just posterior to this anterior commissure ligament is another area here of the vocal fold where the composition is mainly formed of the elastic intermediate part of the lamina propria. This is the anterior macula flava and a similar a part in the very posterior end of the vocal fold, close to its attachment to the vocal process of the arytenoid, there is also an area formed mainly of the elastic fibers of the middle layer of the lamina propria. This is the posterior uh, macula flava. This five layers arrangement of the vocal fold cross section is made clearer on diagrams like this with five distinct uh, layers of the vocal fold. In reality, the transition between one layer and the other is very gradual so that the distinction is not very clearly demarcated between a muscle layer and the deep layer of the lamina propria, or between the deep layer of the lamina propria and the intermediate layer, or between the intermediate and the superficial. There is a gradual transition in the histology, and also a gradual transition in the mechanical 
properties of the vocal fold, the ability to absorb uh, tension and stress and provide stiffness of the vocal fold. This very gradual transition also changes along the course of the vocal fold from the mid portion of the membranous vocal fold where there is maximum vibration to the very anterior and posterior parts where the vocal fold is attached to rigid structures. A closer look at the fibrous framework of the larynx and the uh, vocal folds. You would see here the quadrangular membrane forming the fibrous framework of the supraglottis and the conus elasticus forming the fibrous framework of the vocal folds and the subglottic area. The vocal ligament is the fibrous thickening of the upper end of the conus elasticus forming formed out of the intermediate and the deep layers of the lamina propria and inserted into the middle part of the inner uh, thyroid cartilage. The very anterior part of this vocal ligament is formed almost exclusively of thick collagen fibers in order to be inserted into the thyroid inner perichondrium. This is an area of maximum stress and shearing during the vibration of the vocal fold and is formed almost exclusively of thick collagen tissue, the Broyles ligament. Why do we have macula flava anteriorly and posteriorly in the vocal fold composition? The very firm attachment of the vocal fold into cartilage anteriorly into the thyroid and posteriorly into the vocal process of the arytenoids, formed mainly this attachment by thick collagenous fibers, is preceded just posterior or just anterior to the attachment by an area where there is much elastic fibers. This elastic fibers condensation helps like a shock absorbing or a cushioning effect, helping the transition between the very pliable mid part of the vocal fold and the fairly fixed parts during the insertion of the vocal fold into the cartilage in here. So this transition between very pliable vocal folds and fairly firmly attached parts is provided by the shock absorbers, the macula flava that have very elastic tissue composition. The histological composition and the mechanical properties of the five layers of the vocal folds does not only change with the position in relative to the vocal fold anterior or posterior or mid parts, but also changes with age. In a newly born, the middle three layers are mainly formed of pliable, thick lamina propria with no much fibrous tissue, no evidence of a real vocal ligament. But anteriorly, and posteriorly, there will be an immature macula flava formed of some elastic fibers. Uh, when the child grows between the age of one and four years, there will be an immature vocal ligament. There will be some deposition of collagen and elastic tissues. But the differentiation between these two layers would need more time and will start to appear by the age between 6 and 12 years. Only after adolescence, the three different layers of the lamina propria will become evident. With increasing age, there wouldn't be too much changes in the covering epithelium. But with aging larynx, the superficial part of the lamina propria will become thicker and more edematous, and the vocal fold mass may increase and the vocal fold pitch may drop. 
with increasing age, the elastic part of the lamina propria, the intermediate part, will start to atrophy and becomes loose, and the deeper layer of the lamina propria will become thicker and also denser. With increasing age, there will be some atrophic changes in the muscular layers as well. By this, we come to the end on this presentation on the vocal fold, macula flava, and the fibrous framework of the vocal fold. Salam alaikum.